Hello everyone! Welcome back! We are in the Western Keep. I went back and we can open a door here if I haven't done that already. But yeah, since we have this awesome magical super key, we are supposed to find something here. But I do not know where. I'm not quite sure these things also look like doors. So I guess it's this one. Yes, and there we have three treasure chests and wraith. Wraith this. Too much, too much uh, THS follow thingies. But they are not just too strong, so not a problem at all. And let's open. We have a falchion, a power staff, and steel gloves sounds like very interesting equipment. So, falchion. It doesn't make us any stronger. So, no. Saber. Oh, cool. You take it. And you got no leather gloves. Power staff. No, not for you, but for you, the power staff. Bronze gloves. Steel gloves. Evasion goes down, but the defense goes up. And he can... No, nobody else who can wear the bronze gloves. This sucks. Okay, but well, we have the three awesome chests here with nice equipment for us. Let's see, I guess that should be everything here. Oops, I left. I didn't want to left. Uh, to leave. To left. Guess that's everything here. So next I will go back to the cave where we were and then we get the other treasures. And back I am in the cave and ooh, of course there are going to be fights you remember that it's okay it just happens but well this is what we're playing for for having fun with the fight yay and for leveling our characters it's the best thing to do awesome okay but the most important thing is what's in the treasure chest oh pisco demons well, they were in front of the treasure chests, but they already know. The game knows that we have fought uh, the... I forgot the name of the elven evil thing. And yes. So now we, it, it knows that we can already defeat the Pisco demons and we get them here. Silver armlet! Yays. Who can equip that? I wanted to give it on Vicky. Leather gloves. Oh, it's arm. Silver armlet. An armlet of worked silver. Puts the defense up very much. That's good. I like it. Okay, more fight, more pisco demons. It's interesting. They look like, well, squibs, I would say. I'm not quite sure. But they are easy. And we go on running. Because there were four doors, as you might remember. And we are going to open them all and see what we find in the treasure chests. Awesome equipment that we do not want to buy because we are too greedy. We're gonna keep our money. But yeah, okay. Oh my god, this is... I hate it. But I bought the antidotes, so this is okay. This is the scorpion. My, my, my boss told me an interesting story about a scorpion. Um... I had the problem that I had a very aggressive guest a few days ago, and... who what's this? Oh, Anaconda? Oh yeah, we already have them. Uh... The thing is, as most of you might know, I work at a golf course. And, well, it's a hotel which has... which also has a golf course, and I'm also in a hotel as... A, in, in, in a service, in the restaurant. And, um, no oh great, an antidote. And I am also at the golf course. Three days a week I'm at the golf course, two days a week I'm at the restaurant. And, yeah, so the thing is, on Monday and Tuesday, I, um, there is no Caddy Master. Caddy Master, uh, for those who didn't know, is the, the guy who takes care of the the buggies of the buggy car, golf car thingies, you can call them whatever you like. And yeah, so, and he, if he's not 
there to take the uh, to take care of the cars. I have to do this. And yeah, that's what I basically was doing. And usually I have to close the bureau. The bureau. Bureau is the wrong word. The office. I have to close the office at seven in the evening. And everybody who plays golf there knows that the cars have to be back at seven. So I have to put them on the on the electricity so they can run for the next day and I have to close them with a chain and all that. It's a lot of work. So, well, it was on Monday and I was waiting for a car, uh, for a golf car. And they have to be back at 7 as I sat and I waited and I have I usually can go home at 7 when everything's there, everything's closed and so on. So, and I gave the car to a man and he came. What's this? Why is there no treasure chest? Is there something secret here? I gave the car to a man and he didn't come back at 7 and I waited. And it got 8 and got uh, 20 minutes past 8, so 1 hour and 20 minutes later, and he does know that he has to give the car back at 7. So he came back at 20 past 8. I had to wait one hour and 20 minutes for the car. I could have been at home for the whole time. But I was very friendly. I'm a very friendly person. So I, when he came in, I said, um, I'm very sorry, but you do know that the car has to be back at 7. I have never experienced something like that, I can tell you. But this guy, he exploded the minute I said that. I just said, Excuse me, if the car has to be back at 7, you know that the car has to be back at 7. I, I, I made a question out of it, so not to make him angry, you know. And he exploded. You don't really think that I'm going to uh, stop my, 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 my golf round because of you? Um, this is not, you can't be serious. This is the worst thing I have ever heard. And I said, excuse me, you don't have to be that angry. It's okay. I stayed here. I can take care of everything. It's alright. You don't have to worry. And he, he exploded even more, telling me, you don't want to tell me that you waited because of me. This is such a... so... Uh, whatever. I, I can't even remember what he said. He just yelled at me like crazy. And I, I was absolutely... Wow, I, 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 and after a while, I just said, "It's, it's okay. Um, it's uh, all right." And then he said, "I'm going to note down your name. I'm going to uh, uh, tell your, your boss how you are talking to me." And I didn't even know what I was, was doing. I had absolutely no idea. I, I, I just was very friendly. And after a while, I was. Uh, to, yeah, well, I'm, I keep talking and walking. Um, it was just too much for me, and then he left, and I heard him yelling through the restaurant, I heard him yelling uh, outside, he was yelling around all the time, and he's, he, I never had something like that. I mean, I waited one hour and 20 minutes for him to come back, and he was telling me that it was my mistake. And of course, I told my boss what happened, and... Two days later, we got an email from the guy and telling that he doesn't, that he never experienced such an unfriendly person like me. And I was like, what? I was so friendly, he exploded. And that he doesn't think that he has to bring back the car when I like it. And I was totally, I was so wow. I cried all the time because that was so unfair and I really didn't know what to do. And my boss told me then the story with the scorpion, that was what I wanted to, to tell actually. Um, the, the story with the scorpion is, he, he told me, there's a frog and a scorpion and they are on a big lake. And the scorpion tells the frog, let me climb on your back and let's swim over the lake together because um, I can't swim. And the frog says, but you will sting me. And then 
why why should I do that? And the scorpion says, "Come on, um, if I sting you, you you will drown, and we both will die. Why should I sting you?" And the frog says, mm, "Yeah, okay, you're right. It's okay." Um, and the scorpion climbs on the back of the frog, and they swim. And in the middle of the lake, the scorpion stings the frog, and says, uh, "And and." The frog is dying, and while dying, he says, um, Hey, Scorpion, why did you do that? Scorpion says, What do you expect? I'm a scorpion, I have to sting. And that's what my boss told me, and I really think it's right, because no matter what you do, you cannot change a person. They act the way they act. And the thing is, I cried so much because I thought that it was my fault in a way, but that this man is the scorpion and you're the frog and you just fell for it. He was probably having a bad day and I was the one to, to blame for it. And wow, it, it took me a while to get over this because wow, it, it made me so it made me so sad. I really work like crazy up there. I really do my best to please everyone. There are so many guests and I always try to make them happy and to give them what they need to have a pleasant stay at our house. And then they act that unfriendly and... Yeah. This is a sad thing for me because I really try to do my best there. I didn't know what I'm, why I'm telling you this, but it's because I saw the scorpion that gave me the idea, basically. So there is one more place where we have to go. I will do that now off screen because I, <laughs> I'm done with my story and you had to, to listen to it. I'm so sorry if I bored you. But yeah, we will see each other when I'm at the next place where we can use the key. Here we are in the Chaos Shrine getting the rest of the two treasure chests we were supposed to get a little earlier because they are locked. And we now got the stupid stupid uh, key we needed before. Oh yeah, well, I can run. I forgot that I can run. Ambushed by the Geekus Worm. Yeah, oh gosh. I'm happy to have a free day today, finally. This is about time. Working all the time and so long and... Uh, there's going to be a, a very hot weekend coming up. Everybody is scared because there's so much heat they prognosed so much heat for the weather and humid humidity and all that and everybody is scared because it's getting far too warm for that time of the year. We will see what's coming out of it. I really hate the heat. I love sunshine and relaxing in the sun and stuff like that. I really like that but it's so getting so damn hot and humid you cannot walk around without sweating. Oh, gargoyle. Gargoyle birds. I'm not looking forward to that weekend. Rune blade. Hmm. I suppose it's for you. Rune blade. 28 and 101. That's good. I like that. Amazing, amazing. Let's see how it works. Oh, wow. I really like that. Cool, a really cool new sword for our character. This is pretty, pretty good. It is perfect because it can... Wow. <laughs> I like it. It's good for the next part of the game that's coming up after we are going to get our treasure chests. Nose! There are so many fights here, but always with every fight I think there's experience points. They help us with our level. Can only be good. Oh, two tre treasure chests. I thought it's two in total, not three, but that's good. Well, depends on what's inside. Probably an antidote and a potion. That's why we walk back here for two of these things. Ooh, I have to go. I'm so sorry. It's early in the morning. I fell asleep in the living room the night and woke up pretty early. A werebane? And a gold needle. What's a werebane? Is that something I can equip? Yeah, but it doesn't make me stronger. And he can't.
take it. Okay. A sword for were beasts. We don't have that many were beasts, so I am not going to equip it. We have the werewolf. Maybe there are com some coming up, but then I can change the equipment. Okay, we'll walk back to the boat and we will see each other then when we go on with the story. Castle Cornelia, ground floor. That's where we are. And that's where we go. Because I think there is something I forgot. Isn't it here somewhere? I can't remember. No, no, I left the castle again. That wasn't what I wanted to do. There's something here in the castle. I just can't remember exactly where. Are you the Warriors of Light? Yeah, shut up. Can I go there, please? You're in my way. Whoa! Okay, it's not here. There's supposed to be something here. I just can't remember where exactly. But we will find it. It wasn't here. I think it was somewhere here. On the side. There, where the wizard is. There, there, I wanna go. Okay. Is it here? Yes, there are the treasure chests. A cottage, a saber, a mithril knife, a tent, iron armor, and nitro powder. Nicey. Cool. That's what I wanted. The treasure house has been bound by the mystic key. Not anymore. The time has come to use the key to open the door. The equipment will most certainly help you. Goody, good, good. No. Okay, I think the mithril knife. Ah, oh, attack goes down, accuracy up. No, I don't want that. And I forgot what else we got, so... Copper armlet. Did we get something here? Iron armor? I think he kept copper armlet. Okay, this is good. Okay, well, keep it that way. I think we have everything now, and now we proceed. Go into our boat and swim, or drive, or whatever this is called with a boat. We are traveling. I think this is never wrong. To our next destination. Ah, oh, there are so many things to do and so much uh, lesser time than before. I have an appointment in half an hour. But well, I have time. I don't have to get very prettily dressed, dressed for the appointment. I just can go in uh, uh, leisure, leisure clothes? No idea. Okay. Oh, there is a little lake. We've been here before. And there should be something here. Ooh, fight. Let's see. Oh, cobra. Nothing new. Should be death. Death after the first hit. Awesome. There is a cave. And wolf and war warg wolf. Such hard words. Warg wolf. I can't remember warg. What was a warg? Was it, aren't they stronger than werewolves? Warg wolves. And are they warg wolves? Shouldn't they just be warg? Oh well. It's all the m mythological stuff. Guess they are different from culture to culture. But I am going to find out where they originally come from. So, oh, look at that! Dwarves! Lolly ho! Oh gosh, they are jumping. Hey, my treasure chests. We are crystalline, the blind can see. I hear that the dark elf asked us pilk the one belonging to Matoya. Yes, we brought it back. We brought it back. Go out of my way. Go out of my way. Go out of my way! But I want to go to the door! Hello, 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 hello. Move! Move! Oh gosh! Move, I said! Oh my god, stupid dwarves! Hello? 
Have you blathered we or Smith Smith the in the Smithy he it oh well, gosh, come on. Can't you just talk normally? I'm not native no not a native speaker. The earth has steered to rod. It began in the west and now the decay spreads. Yeah, that we already have that. Okay, let's see what we can find here. I don't want to talk to them. When it comes to defense, a git armlet can be ivory bit as stewed as body armor. You should try one oop sometime. I'm so sorry, this is so hard for me. That soon? I that's Narek. He's smushing rocks in the back of the cave. Okay, that was easier. I'm looking for some Levistone. It's supposed to be wonderful rock that actually flutes in the air. Can you talk normally? Molly ho! Oh, thank you, that's more normal than all the others. So, hello you, have you say something to say? That soon? Yeah, we already had that. So... Okay, this is a very long path. What is it? Oh my god, he has a question, uh, uh, explanation mark. Is that Nitro Pooter? This lovely stuff will blow my camel open in no time at all. Ah, oh, thank you, young uns. Oh, I think I was too early here. Should have done that later. Has he green hair or is that a hat? There we go. Now we can smudge this rock to we smithereens. What are you all standing around for? That pooter set the blah, unless you plan on going with with <laughs> your best gear out whilst you can. Oh, please. This is not good. Baboom! So what happens? Yay! Awesome graphics. Look at that! A passage! So what happens next? Yes. Ah, can I wait to see what lies out there? Ayun, that. <laughs> Where are they doing that to me? I can't remember what they were talking like in German. Worm killer. Ether. Potion. Mithril mail. Jill. All stuff I can use. Great helm. Tent. Okay, equipment. Worm killer. Effective against dragons. Great helm. Uh, the fence goes down, but evasion up. I don't need that. Can you get the rune blade? And this is it. It is a little sad that the mages don't get a lot of equipment. Mithril knife. Tech goes down, accuracy goes up. No, we don't need that. Okay, so let's see what else we can find before we move on with our newly uh, made path. Oh, we're so great. Hello, have I talked to you? The earth has what? Oh yeah, we already talked to you. Hello, Mr. Smith. If only I could have some of the legendary metal ad adamantite, I'd be <laughs> able to make such a magical sword. Okay. I got that. I understood. Let's get out of here! Never to come back. So let's get to our boat. Swoosh, a fight. And I think as soon as we reach our boat, I'm going to stop the episode and we will see each other in the next one because then we will move on and we hopefully do not have to talk that weird way anymore ever again. But I guess we have to go back to the dwarves as soon as we find the adamantite and maybe I can have some, <laughs> some translator. 
or something. I have no idea, but it is really, really annoying to talk like that. Especially for me, I, I'm not quite sure. You can tell me in the comments below if it is easier for you to read that. Probably it is. And what kind of dialect that is supposed to be. Surprised enemy, yay, let's hack him and slash him down. The tarantula. Are spiders female in English? German spiders are female. So, we will see each other in the next video. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and then we will move on. Bye bye.